Hello everyone, I am Srimanthi and I am currently working as an ML engineer. Today we are going to do an awesome machine learning project that you can add to your resume and impress all the interviewers. Um, I am dedicated to teaching machine learning to all of you and to ensure that you all land an ML job as soon as possible. Okay, so without any further ado, let's dive right in. So our title is going to be... Um, so our project title is going to be a uh, YouTube video summarizer with LLM. Well, so what it's going to do is going to take in a, a video and you can ask any question regarding the video's contents, the images, etc. And that's going to be really, really good, really useful as well. And that can be a mini reply project as well. Okay, so first things first, um, let's, let's, let's think about why do we need this in the first place? The interviewer might say, why not just use chat GPT? Right, because ChatGPT has now enabled the search web feature for every free user, right? So you might be wondering why not just use that, okay? So let's see why we're not going to use that. As you can see right here, we have our ChatGPT open. And let's see, um, which video are we going to use? Yeah. So this is a video that we are going to use right here. As you can see, my binary classification video, which is of the length of 32, 32 seven minutes. Okay, so let's put this inside the chat GPT, enable the search web feature and say, write the transcript for this. For this video, because first of all, we'll need the transcript, right? As you can see right here, it says that it's unable to actually get the video so, um, transcript. So if you don't have the transcript, obviously, then you won't be able to do anything with it, right? Okay, whenever you get any project, it's very important to understand that you first need to break the project down into smaller pieces that you can tackle easily. This is very important because if you think that how, how am I going to do that? We don't have this, we don't have that at the first. So this is going to be very confusing. So let's tackle it one by one, step by step. Remember this for any project that you are going to do. Okay, I'm going to use Google Colab here because we need GPU for our support. So if you don't have GPU on your system or you're using an in Windows system, you're using a Mac system, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. As long as you have Google Colab, you can just go in. It's free for you to use and you can do the project here. And in your resume, you can just put in a link. Okay, so let's do first install. Let's first install the YouTube transcript API. Great. Now we have the YouTube trans uh, transcript API. So now what we're going to do is basically get the link, provide the link to the video, um, to this library and generate the transcript using this. Now we're going to import the YouTube transcript API. So from YouTube. YouTube transcript API. Sounds good. Now let's get the video ID from the um, video. So what we're going to do is basically, as you know, this is the video right here and this is the video ID. So whenever you put in a link, you're going to get the video ID from here. Get video ID is going to be this function. Great, you now have the video ID. So let's see what the video ID looks like. Um, copying this. Yeah, this is the video ID. Yeah, next thing is getting the transcript. So basically get video ID, we already have that. So let's just store it in a variable. This one going to be video ID. Um, yeah, sounds good. Now let's see what the transcript looks like. Yeah, as you can see, this is what the transcript looks like. So now what you're going to do is uh, add all this together. Yep. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is do the transcript joined. So what does it going to look like? Exactly. Just join this together, all the text features that you have in this transcript. Great. Now we can see what the transcript joined looks like. Yeah. Great. As you can see right here, this is our transcript that we have. Um, okay, as I can see, we have it Santi, but we can't do anything about it. So let's just forget about it for the moment. Yeah, um, sounds good. Now what we're going to do is basically we need to, as you can see the transcript that you saw, um, it does not actually have 
uh, proper punctuation. So we are going to put in the punctuation now. How we are going to do that? We are going to use a model for that. This is where the LLM comes into the play. Okay, so now as you can see, like uh, restoring the punctuation, this is called the library which we have actually. And this is actually a restore punct library. Yeah, this is our punct library that we have actually. But there's a problem out here. The versions are very like old because it's three years ago. So that is why there's a patch for the same by another uh, GitHub user. So that, that is what we are going to use here. Great. So this is actually the thing. Please note it down because you're going to need this. If you use the normal R punct, it's not going to help. Great. Now the next thing comes is restoring the punctuations. So from the R punct, we are going to import restore puncts and then you're going to use this restore punct function. So what this actually does behind the scenes is it uses a model from the hugging face library. And this model is actually loaded here. And this model is actually pre-trained for taking in bunch of text and then um, getting the punctuations back to that text. Great. Now that this is done, let's move on to the um, getting the results from the punctuation. So as you can see right here, this one PyTorch model, this model actually got loaded. So one thing, if you're facing some problem with GPU, it's very important to use this actually um, here. Yeah. As you can see right here, we have GPU enabled T4. So you need to enable the GPU in your um, collab. Otherwise, you are going to get an error that is GPU is not available. And it's not really possible to do this without GPU. You can do it with CPU as well, but it's going to be very slow. Okay, so now that you can see, we have loaded the model. We have gotten all this vocabulary. We have gotten the tokenizer. We have gotten the configuration and everything. So now we are ready to go. Let's see the results. Yeah, we are printing out the results as you can see Yeah. This is, as you can see, it's like very good punctuation. I'm an algorithm full stop. I've covered log likelihood. It was this kind of a prerequisite, full stop, then comma, adieu, let's start. It's pretty good. Not 100% um, accurate because it's not a very good model, but it's pretty good. We are going to use this. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to use the chat GPT free version, API version to get the results from this transcript. So as you can see, we have the transcript right here. So we know the entire content of the video. So it's going to be a piece of cake for now. Sounds good, yeah. So let's see, we are going to import OpenAI. As you can see, I've already installed OpenAI. If you have not, then you can do it using not equal to pip install OpenAI. Come to the OpenAI API key website. Yeah, as you can see right here, this has API key. You can just log in. Yeah, you can just log in. Here's my API key. You can't see that. Just create a new secret key. Write the key, permissions all, create secret key, and you have the API key right here. It's a, it's, it's very easy. Sounds good. Now, now we have the API key. Now we are having the prompt. Cool. So let's have the prompt here. So as you can see right here, let's go over this. So from OpenAI, we are importing OpenAI. Then we have the client with the API key just now we set. And now this is the, remember this, this is very, very easy. And this is like very standard thing that we are going to do. So this is the way you have to access the uh, OpenAI API. So we have the message here, role user content prompt. So this is the prompt that we are going to pass in. Um, and then we are going to use the model GPT 3.5 Turbo because the other GPT models are all paid. We are not going to use a paid version. We're going to use the free version. And we have the temperature set equal to one. It controls the randomness basically. Max tokens to 56 is the maximum number of tokens in the response. Um, top P equal to one, which means the top P is a nuclear sampling parameter, which is just another thing for uh, like temperature, just like temperature. We are, we are, we are determining the one with a higher probability mass. Um, frequency penalty is basically zero, which means that we don't want the model to uh, repeat anything. And presence penalty is also zero, which means that it, we do not want it to add unnecessary words or just making it verbose without any reason. For example, if you're asking for one word, just reply with one word. Don't be any like verbose and explain why you're saying that and all that. We don't want that. Right. Um, so let's run this. Great. Now we have the response right here. Simple thing. Just print it out. So this is the way you can print out the response. It's very important. Chat completion dot choices zero dot message dot content. This is the way it actually comes in. So if you want to see what the chat completion looks like, you can check it out. It's actually kind of a dictionary. Uh, it's kind of a class here where you have different attributes. So this is the content that we want. Um, so that is why we are doing this. So let's see the content. So the text discusses the derivation and maths, focusing on binary classification, perfect decision boundary. Uh, lag likelihood function, sigmoid function, gradient descent, optimal th parameters like theta. It controls by discussing how to determine the equation in theta transpose x, comprehensive explanation, and its implementation. So, well, 
it's your cue to go and study this classification um, video as well. But yeah, you can do it at your own pace, but it's a very important thing as well. Sorry, not sorry, a little bit of promotion. But yeah, now we're done. So now you can just take on a prompt, which is any kind of prompt that you want. Uh, why don't I just change this? Let's just have this one right here. So let's change it to, I don't know, anything you want, maybe um, answer questions based on this text you have right here. So let's add a question. Um, what do you want me to add? Let's say, what is classification? What is exactly taught here? Let's see what it has to say. Algorithm predict the class speaker. Well, it's not my name, but whatever we have put it in the transcript. So derivation and math specifically binary classification. Uh, okay, my gender is also wrong, but whatever. Decision boundary uh, and then deriving the this one gradient descent. See, it's perfect. The answer is perfect. Key concepts in it, uh, um, and steps involving binary classification, detailed description. As you can see, this is extremely good. Um, I also show you how you can deploy this from end to end, but that's for another video. Okay, take care. Bye.